Welcome back with us, folks. Tonight, MU, a favorite ticker. We play it quite a bit. In fact, we tend to know levels pretty well in order to be successful with it. However, um, I'll show you exactly how we got in, which was a successful play, and how a, a lack of preparation ended up being uh, too early of an entry and pulled us out for a reason that I'm a little uh, disappointed with. So learning from this is extremely important. So when I say lack of preparation, I'll show you that just a little later. Just before I'll, sh I'll show you how we got in on a trade that was um, indicated as a day trade only late in the day where we had a double bottom on MU after a bearish day. So if you look at the chart here, this is from last Wednesday and at three o'clock or a little before, um, you know, 2.30 or something, we, we alerted only for a day trade MU uh, on the 75 calls. So right here, basically you have, you have a day where you drop to the bottom here um, and then it becomes very bearish, right? Because it loses this support from the morning lows and it tests twice. You get double bottom at the bottom here. And this is where I believe that we had a possible entry, made it a triple bottom. I was bullish on a, uh, on the MU for a continuation to a move up. So we took the 75 calls right at this month and then slowly got something to a point where it reached that point, which is very similar to this top here, decided to be out just before the end of the day, not carrying an overnight MU with us. Although I believe we were, um, we were bullish on it. You know, this down day, and uh, away from the 200 EMA, which is the green line here, it felt that we um, it was a little risky overnight swing. So this from the bottom to here on a day trade for a few hours was profitable enough for um, you know just pennies. I believe it was uh, 20, 30 percent. Yet not what we're um, we're really shooting for. Um, so this was the uh, Wednesday play, which ended up being okay. However, look at the next day. Next day, we opened up much higher, right? And this is what I anticipated in the first place. However, not being in the play is okay. And you look for a second entry, you look for a better entry on your next day. And this is what I was looking at. Um, I'll sh zoom out a little bit here so you can understand what I was um, looking for. So we played on Thursday. Take a screenshot of this, I'll show you. Here is the high, pre-market high on Wednesday. And look at what happened. On a big push, we opened up higher than this. So we are in bullish territory. This is telling me that we have bulls showing up. However, right away, this got sold off in one big candle. This is really, really tricky if you're if you're playing that because you know you're you're so bullish, you're with the buyers, and then all of a sudden it flushes. So I was you know, M MU sometimes does that, does this, and we're trying to to be um, very careful with it. However, look at what it did. I tell you, pre market activity, and this is where pre market ends. And look at what happened. We came down to pre market, and it bounced. This is where we alerted. However, it kept going lower low, lower low, and we're down to this low. To me, this was, oh, okay, we're, we're kind of, you know, stretching it a little bit. 
but it's the pre-market activity. I'm pretty confident, you know, it's going to move. Then we get higher low, higher low. Then we're reaching this line. It's not even this pre-market resistance. No, it's intraday resistance. It gets rejected. Remember this long, tall red candle and this this is what I, you know, look at the angle here. It's moving down pretty fast. I decided when we lost this level, I decided to get out. Now, this is only looking at intraday and looking only at, um, let me clean this up a little bit here. Not looking at the previous day, not looking at anything from a large, uh, longer time frame point of view. Now, I'll make a line appear here and, I'll sh and you'll see exactly what I mean. Look at this. This is support, right? And you'll, like, you'll be like, oh man, okay. This really, this really works, right? Support and resistance. This is a drop from on Tuesday. This is where it stopped on Tuesday. This is now where it's bouncing. You want to see something a little more um, uh, convincing? I'll show you that. Zoom out on a daily chart. Okay. Look at this. This is June. Take a screenshot of this. This is June. All this you know, you get a bounce on the line, bounce on the line, bounce on the line. All of this is really, really strong support. Now, that strong support became a resistance line, right? This, again, all the way until now, not changing the line, not changing the line. So, this, when I say keep lines in your chart, this is exactly what I mean. Look at where this line ends up. And this is where, take a screenshot again to show you guys. This is where I decided I was coming, I was um, pulling out of the trade because we were losing support from intraday, but it only tested our line that was long time support and then it just went from this 75 line to end up the day at 83 on Friday. So the day before you pulled out, the next day it's um, $9 or so higher than when we got in. So this is looking at the chart intraday, but it was a false trigger and we should have looked a little further out in order to stay in the trade showing you that there was a line of strong support that was tested and sometimes big orders get filled right there why because there everyone is waiting for that line to happen and when it gets there everyone sees it everyone that is better prepared than i was so what i'm saying is keep lines in your chart where strong and evident support and resistance lines are now you really really can see it right when you look at the um, daily chart I'll show you the daily chart again now you really see it I mean this is clearly a support and resistance line and when this appears like this it needs to stay in your chart and we can trade it for more um, with more confidence so I hope you're learning with something with this and obviously preparation is key. So we'll get, we'll, we'll get good trades again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in chat.